Hello and welcome to the channel. So before I go on, I just want to quickly say if you do enjoy these analytical kind of films on design, usability and workflow, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Uh, it'll be great to have you along for the journey. So I've always been kind of interested in, in what, you know, optimizing the best workflow for, for washing the car. Um, you know, if you research it, you end up sort of finding out that the proper way of doing it is the two bucket method. And, you know, you don't use a sponge and you don't use a chamois and all these kinds of things. So that's, that's the, the kind of first thing you discover when you, you dig into this topic. So I don't mind doing a proper wash once a week, although I think the two bucket method is a bit too time consuming. Uh, and I have actually come up with a faster approach using a rinseless wash, but I'm going to do that in another video. So subscribe for that one. Uh, but what I'm going to explore in this video is this little routine that I've come up with which lets me keep the car clean every day in between those weekly washes and this is brilliant because obviously there's this idea that you know you spend all this time washing the car at the weekend and then the first time you drive it especially in winter it's, it's just it looks rubbish again it's covered in mud and that dries on and it gets worse throughout the week and by the time the next week comes around it's, it's pretty much awful you know so you get to enjoy it looking clean for just a, a few a few minutes before that first drive and I was like well that's, I don't really like the idea of that I'd love to know if there's a way of topping it up through the week to make it basically look clean the whole week. So in terms of sort of quick top up washing methods, obviously we've got quick detailers, um, which is just the spray thing you can spray on and wipe off. And they've got very high lubricity. So you know, the theory is they shouldn't damage your car if you if you just wipe off a little bit of dirt. But actually in the winter when they're gritting the roads, the car is covered in this gritty mud, you don't want to touch that with, with any kind of cloth. So the answer has got to be something to do with the pressure hose. But you know, normal pressure hose, you've got to plug the thing in, you've got to get the, the garden hose, attach it to it. You know, there's, there's no way that's going to work as a sort of quick everyday top-up routine. So what I've come up with is based around the idea of using a cordless hose with a bucket of water. Now this is so you don't need the, the hose and you don't need to plug something in. So this is already radically faster than, than a normal pressure hose. You can just literally grab the, the setup out of the garage and take it out. But normal water, if you were to just put this in this bucket, would leave watermarks when it dries on the car. So we've got to take it a step further and that's where the deionizing water filter comes in. So you can get these resin vessels, which are basically just a big tank and it's full of this resin, uh, which you know has a lifespan. You've got to replace them when it sort of loses its effectiveness. So basically you use the DI filter to top up the bucket of water. And then when you grab that and the cordless pressure hose, you just walk around the car and you only, you only need to do that lower bit that's dirty. You know, the rest of the car still looks fine for this has only got to last a week basically. So you're talk, talking about little top ups every day or even after every drive to just get that dirt off around the back and the lower, the lower parts of the door. And, and then you, you just put it away. So basically when we come back from a drive, the car's filthy, especially in the winter, all I do, walk straight into the garage, grab the cordless pressure hose, grab my little bucket. So the little hose that connects the, the bucket to the cordless pressure hose is, is stored, coiled up in the bucket. So literally very easy, just grab it, connect it, uh, walk out of the garage, around the car, and I just, it takes about two and a half to three minutes to do this. You know, I'm not exaggerating, it is that quick. You're only doing the lower section of the doors and the sort of rear, you know, just where that, that dirt's accumulated from the drive that you've just done. So it's pretty, it's pretty eccentric. I mean, I, I won't lie, I do feel pretty embarrassed doing this to, uh, <laughs> to the car after every, every drive. Uh, you know, the neighbors must think I'm pretty crazy. But actually, it does only take three minutes and the car is always clean. You know, if anyone spends any time at all cleaning a car, they obviously value having a clean car. So for this kind of minimal extra effort to keep the car clean, it seems much more logical to do that than to just clean a car and then immediately get dirty after the first drive and then you're, st you're stuck with a dirty car for the whole week. I mean, there's just no point to that. I think this is a really lovely sort of extension of the logic of, of keeping the car clean. You know, it keeps it clean through the week. I mean, that's great. This is really cool. So the Works cordless pressure hose that I'm using here is available on Amazon and there'll be a link in the description. If you use that link to grab one of these, then I'll get a small slice of that at no extra cost to you. And it really helps the channel to do that. It means I can kind of buy new things to, to review and look at and, and develop new workflows. So uh, this would be super appreciated if you are thinking about doing this and getting one of these. It's a great product, even if you weren't gonna go the whole hog and, and use the DI water filter and, and use it for this. It's a very, very cool product to use. So the real goal here basically is to not let anything dry on the car. So if you go out and drive and the, the dirt from a wet road gets on the car, if that dries, that's a bit more of a problem. If you can get it off while it's still wet, that's fantastic. So it kind of depends on your daily routine. If you're going, leaving the car somewhere after a drive and then driving home and you can't do the three minute wash until you get back then, it's gonna be less effective as if you can do it after every drive or if it's just a couple of hours trip at the weekends or something like that, that you know, that, that's really minimizing that time for the dirt to dry onto the car and that's what you wanna try and do. 
obviously pressure hosing dirt off a car if you ever tried to wash your car just with the pressure hose it, it doesn't touch that stuff that's kind of baked on you know you get this film on the car it gets rid of the loose stuff but you basically get this film uh, so the, the solution to that is to make sure you are doing it frequently and as soon after the drive as possible because that's what stops it drying on and creating that sort of hard film so the, the idea with this is it has to be fast. It has to be convenient enough that I can quickly just do this when I get back, you know, three minutes on top of whatever kind of event we've just done, driving out for a walk at the weekends or whatever, is no trouble at all. And of course, the other part of this is making sure you've got a really good wax or sealant on the paint after your weekly wash, because the more repellent that paint surface is, the easier you can just rinse this off with this pressure hose. So this is the first white car I've had and driving this in the winter was a, a bit of a shock. You know, it's literally a five minute drive. The car is filthy and looks really dirty. So I really wanted to come up with kind of some routine that would deal with that problem. And this is working really, really well. Obviously it's a fair sort of investment to get it set up. You need the cordless pressure hose and the, the DI filter. Um, and then obviously you will be replacing the resin in the filter, but they say something like 800 liters of water this will create. And I'm using this seven liter bucket and I use probably about 70% of that bucket for one of these little quick walk arounds. So it will last a long time and the filter resin isn't that expensive either. So I think that's, that's a tolerable kind of expense. And the cordless pressure hose is actually so brilliant and so useful. It's actually powerful enough to be used as the, the thing you use for your weekly wash as well. I use this uh, even with a foam lance and it's, it's not, not anything like as good as a proper pressure hose for a foam lance, but it's good enough and I, and I can live with it uh, considering it's just so convenient. So I'm happy to have justified that kind of purchase because it's, it's so useful day to day I mean it was brilliant for cleaning bikes as well uh, it, it's just an excellent product and if you get the one that I recommend here it has the four amp hour battery and the faster charger and I think those are really important things it's not worth skimping and getting the the cheaper ones because they're a lot lower uh, water flow as well and I think that you'd you know you'd be you'd be spending a bit too long trying to get anything useful out of it and then the battery would run out and you wouldn't be able to fast charge it either to top it up back up so um, I think this is the one to go for out of the range and it is that little bit more expensive but I think it's definitely worth it uh, it's the works uh, 630e is the the model um, and it's a great product you know I'm really really impressed with it and the DI filter I think is one of these things that you can kind of basically get anywhere you know they're on they're on um, eBay and, and Amazon and, and third-party car detailing sites as well I think the key is going to be getting the quality resin to put in it so the interesting thing about having the the hose bit that attaches the bucket to the the pressure washer coiled up in the bucket is if there is water left in there it means it will prime faster because the, the water will sort of sit in the lower bit of that coil uh, which you can leave in there even when you're walking around with it and if you find it a bit heavy to use the pressure hose with one hand while holding the bucket is just pop it down on the floor and use the two hands for the pressure hose you can easily sort of reach around half the car with uh, the length of hose that you've got coiled up in that bucket that can just come out so the, the whole thing works very very well and of course the nice thing is if you are in a hurry you can just grab this bucket make sure it's full of water from the night before grab it and then put it back empty and then fill it back up again you know another time either in the evening or whatever before the next time you might need it so it, it really is a three minute workflow and because the di water doesn't leave watermarks there's no need to worry about drying it, it will, you know you'll be wet after you do this and that's fine that water will go and there won't be any marks and you're left with a clean car so obviously it does accumulate through the week still that you're not getting this back to 100 percent after this walk around it is just you know it's to get the bulk of it off and give you basically what looks like a clean car from a few feet away again the other great thing of course about these daily top-ups is by the time you do do the weekly wash it's 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 not that dirty it is just that light film that you're kind of really dealing with and you've kept the the dirt accumulation at bay especially under the wheel arches and stuff like that you know it's much easier just to do that again makes that weekly wash even faster so if you have left it a little bit too long and you did just want to quickly do this but the dirt is started to dry on the car and this is going to happen more in the summer basically um, the dirt won't stay wet you know so it won't just wash off as easily as it does in the winter um, so in the summer if, if we're in the situation where the dirt looks a little bit bonded on and it, you know you, you're not confident that the pressure hose by itself is going to get it off uh, what we can do to this routine without impacting it in terms of time too much would be to use one of these pump foam sprayers which you can keep filled up with the foam um, the solution in there you know so you just grab that from the garage walk around put a bit of that on before you do the rinse off and that should give a little bit of extra cleaning power which would make the difference if the dirt has started to dry onto the car a little bit so that could take this to the next level so for situations where you're driving some way and then leaving the car there for some time like you're going away on holiday 
you know, this kind of kit, it does actually go in the back of the car. So if you did really want to run with this, you could take it with you and take some bottles of the water um, with you. And you can actually attach bottles directly to these cordless pressure hoses as well. So I might experiment with that, but I don't think it would quite be enough to do the whole thing with one bottle's worth. So it would be a bit of a faff. You know, it's better just to use the bucket, I think. But if you did want to just use a bottle screwed onto the pressure hose, that would be quite a cool setup and it would just go in the car. So if you were going somewhere and you wanted to know the car would be at the end of the drive looking really good again, you could just get it out of the boot and walk around. Uh, so <laughs> that would be taking things to another level again, I think, but it's definitely possible with this kit. So do hit subscribe for more videos on interesting kind of workflows through productivity and day-to-day -day lifestyle stuff as well. And in particular, the video I do on the weekly wash routine that I'm developing, I'm almost happy with it. And there's a few things I want to just experiment with. Um, but once I've, I've cracked it, I'll do a video on that too. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and let me know in the comments too, because those signals all help sort of tell YouTube that this video is worth showing to other people and more people will see it. So it's super appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.